Good afternoon, I'm Keenan Smith. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Joe Biden's running mate Kamala Harris is campaigning in Michigan today. She visited Flint this morning touring small businesses that have been hit hard by the pandemic. The candidate for vice president will be in Detroit around 4.30 this afternoon for a roundtable discussion with black men in the Motor City. After that, Harris will take part in a voter mobilization event. Well, police are searching for a driver who hit a man on a bike and didn't stop. Just after 7 o'clock this morning, police said they found a man lying in the grass near Romeo Plank and 27 Mile Roads in Ray Township. They say the victim is around 50 years old. Police are also asking for your help tracking down the hit and run driver responsible for killing a road worker. The 26 year old Chesterfield Township uh, employee was on the shoulder near an orange service truck when he was struck yesterday afternoon on I-94 near Nine Mile Road in St. Clair Shores. The vehicle involved could be a white colored box truck that may have extensive front end or side damage. Well, a former city councilman is now accused of playing someone to plant a gun and fake drugs in a city employee's car. Prosecutors say a former Wayne City Councilman Christopher Sanders asked a man named Jimmy Lee Chandler to break into the car of a female city employee. They say after watching that woman leave, Chandler called 911 to report a false road rage report identifying her car. And she was never stopped by officers, but she did find the fake uh, drugs and the gun in her glove box, and she reported it all to police. And for today, the first official day of fall is going to feel like summer still. 75 degrees for the high temp, mostly sunny and warmer. Notice we'll be above average by a couple of degrees, but going into Wednesday, we'll flirt with 80 degrees.